Some call them messengers, some call them couriers. What they do is pick up and deliver letters, important business documents, or packages. Even in an electronic age, the physical act of delivering something important is essential. All right, I want you to go over to Treehouse, make a pick up there, going up to Allen. A messenger is called when the item has to be delivered quickly or when it's so important that it has to be hand carried to its destination. Usually, messengers deliver things locally, either within a building when they work for a large company or across town in a metropolitan area. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. They get their orders by phone or radio and get moving. A messenger can be an independent contractor working for him or herself or a salaried or commissioned employee. This kind of work is available at large financial institutions like banks and insurance companies and also at a messenger or delivery service. It's a job that requires efficiency and the ability to read addresses and find locations. As many messengers move on to other occupations, there is a steady stream of openings for courier work. Electronic transfer of materials will continue to cut into the need for messengers, but large documents, medical samples, and other materials still must get there the old-fashioned way. Many messengers work on foot or on their own bikes. You might also have to invest in gear such as a carrying bag. To be a motor messenger, you'll need a valid driver's license and sometimes your own vehicle. You'll need to make sure it's registered and inspected properly so you're ready for the road.